This is the MARWIS, the Mobile Advanced Runway Road Weather Information Sensor. And we're here at the airport today. We're going to show you a demonstration of how it's used in making runway measurements and runway condition reports. So it's a very simple instrument, um, easy to mount, easy to set up, it takes about 10 minutes and you're collecting data. Um, tell you a little bit about the sensor itself. Measures ambient temperature and humidity. It, uh, the infrared sensors measure different wavelengths, so it gives you surface condition of the pavement that you're driving on. So it will measure uh, surface temperature, surface uh, condition, so whether it's rain or snow or slush. It measures the water film thickness, and it also measures snow depth up to five centimeters. Um, in addition, it calculates a friction value. So I'm going to show you how quickly and easy it is to install on any vehicle. There's various mounting options, and this one in particular is just a hitch mount. So it simply drops into the splash shield, a couple clips that lock it into place, and then easily powered up from the trailer connection. So once it's powered up, it takes about 30 seconds to start collecting data. The data is transferred via Bluetooth to the MARWIS program. And as you can see, we have a green light connected. We're collecting data already. So we can see that the road condition, it's saying it's wet. It needs to be calibrated for the surface that you're dealing with which takes about 10 seconds. But so right now we're on a sort of a glossy surface, so it's, it's measuring a little bit different, but you can see it's got the water film thickness, friction value, road temperature, ice percentage. So this data is being transferred via Bluetooth to your iOS or Android device. And then from there, that data is transferred to the server, to the cloud, and then you can, um, store and look at the data and images you can set it up with your camera to take images um, every 10 seconds or every minute or however you want however often you want but it makes 100 measurements per second at any speed so the idea is that you would set up your runway configuration in the software so the coordinates of the four corners of the runway plus the runway thirds and then you take a measurement drive down the runway at any given speed and it collects the data, transfers it back and will automatically then generate a runway condition report, which can also generate a snow tam and email, email that to the uh, interested parties. So it's a very easy to use application uh, now that airports are required to create these runway condition reports. It's the first and only automated system that can do that. So uh, that's the Marwis. Thanks for joining us. We're getting ready to do a measurement drive. And one of the first things we need to do is make sure that the sensor is adjusted for the proper height and the proper pavement condition. So we need to, first of all, check that the sensor is in the right position and that we meet the conditions needed for a calibration or adjustment. So we go into settings, then we go into the information button, choose the sensor, and then make the adjustment. To meet those conditions, uh, we need to make sure that the sensor is at the right height, that uh, we're over representative pavement, that the sensor or the pavement is dry, free, line of sight of the sensor to the pavement, vehicle must be stopped, and the temperature must be below 20 degrees Celsius. So once we've met those conditions, we can overwrite the parameters and it'll make its calibration. It takes about 10 seconds. Once that's complete, we can go back to the settings and the sensor will reboot, and then we can make our measurement drive.
beginning my measurement drive now. It's raining pretty hard. Um, we're going through a big puddle right now, and it's going to measure the water film thickness, 45 millimeters. You can actually see there's quite a bit of uh, water in the side of the road, so pretty heavy rain right now. But we can drive at any speed, making 100 measurements per second, transferring the data back to the server so that it can be viewed in real time. It's also measuring uh, friction. As you can see, the friction values have decreased. So it's slipperier with the more water. It also shows the road temperature is 52 degrees. Obviously no ice, but this is uh, basically how we do a measurement drive.